It's time for the final trial of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. We're on Bridge to the Turnabout, Part 4. I think. Is that what that said? Part 4? Anywho, we, that's what we're on, Part 4. It's time to go. We played everything else, but not on stream. Well, everything, like, well, only we, play, we only played this one. Go watch uh, all the other ones. There's like nine of them. I don't know what episode it is right now. February 10th, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Good morning. Oh, are you by yourself? Ah, uh, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, please tell me what's going to happen to Mystic Maya. I'm sorry, we don't know yet. Investigation is still going on, so I wasn't allowed into the Inner Temple. Oh, I see. So still, Sister I was trying to remove those locks in the training hall? No, she defended this case, so she can't be at the Inner Temple. She's required to be here in the court. Um, then, how could she's not here in the defendant lobby? I have to admit, it's kind of strange. You're looking for Iris. She's in the prosecutor's lobby. Yo, is that Edgeworthy? Edgeworth? What's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony for the prosecutor as we speak. Today's testimony? You heard me. Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. She's testifying? No way! The prosecution squeezing her for a confession, or so I've heard. Francisco on karma, what are you up to? I thought the prosecutor's go to. He's the prosecutor of the game! I don't know what he was thinking, but Francisco is going to be the prosecutor today. What? Then who is? Who else would it be but? Godot. Godot. Francisca is engaged in some important work at the Sacred Cavern. They're all busy with this case. Like all of our prosecutors, Sacred Cavern. You don't mean that she's... Exactly. She has been out there all night, trying to remove those trick locks with the head nuns' assistance, naturally. We estimate the last of the locks will be taken about now, three hours. I hope everything goes continues to go smoothly and we we'll see good news soon. Yeah. Thanks, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Godo intends to nail this case shut today. Be prepared to find the no tomorrow. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> oh, my bad, I'm sick. I know, I can already see it in your eyes. You're not the same fever-ridden frantic man you were yesterday. Strange, on the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all this. Almost immediately after I made that decision, I found myself getting stronger. Interesting. Today you passed your code on to someone else, literally. And with that, I leave the rest in your capable hands, partner. Thanks. Yo, yeah, he's a defense attorney too. I still don't have answers for most of the riddles plaguing this case. What circumstances around the murder of Miss Elise Deuston? No, I mean Miss Misty Fay. Possible f flight Larry claims have seen. What are all of these questions? Damn. What is the woman really after? Morgan Fay. We'll solve them all and bring this tragedy to an end. February 10, 10 o'clock. Court. Courtroom number 7. Look, it's go doty. Court is now in session for the trial of Iris from Hasekar Temple. Um, your honor? What are you? Nah, I have no clue, bro. I think he might be, like, bald. Who? Me? Well, my little brother came to, to visit my chambers early this morning. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. I see, your honor. So they're brothers. That explains a lot. Did you pass that cold on to him, right? What is happening? My poor little brother. He looked a bit pale. Not to mention the salad couldn't be here. He's drinking some coffee. It's impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. That is precisely why people feel the need to judge that. And of course, we of the court have been charged with the solemn duty of passing such judgment. Well said, Mr. Godot. I understood exactly what you said, at least until the end, anyway. Now then, Mr. Godot, please proceed with your opening statement. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts change with the shifting of tides. There's only one thing that remains constant in this crazy world. The bitter darkness that lies at the bottom of this mug. So then you mean... Forget it. What do you mean? <laughs> During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. Today, she has had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hezekiah Temple has a confession to make. Confession? I need a succession. Captain Ward, 
the defendant? Iris. Why didn't she discuss with me first? I have no clue, Phoenix. Very well. Court record button came back. The court will now hear the defendant's confession. Did something get added? No. Look at this. We got Larry. We got Francisco Von Karma. We got Miles. We got Dahlia Hawthorne. And Misty Faye all in one page. It looks very bizarre. They're all from like different cases, but they're in this case now. Damn, upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask her name and profession. That is one of my rules. Uh, my name is Iris. I am but a simple nun undergoing training at Hazard Fair Temple. Witness, is there something you'd like to confess to? Yes, but first, I want to apologize to Mr. Wright. I can't continue lying to anyone anymore. It's alright, what is it? Mr. Wright, I have to admit that I... I did play a part in this terrible incident. Are, are you actually confessing? Are you saying that you were the one who murdered Miss Elise Dusenham? No, I'm not, Your Honor. But I dealt with the cover-up. Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. After the murder took place, after a spirit left, I took the life shell of Mystic Elise. I carried it to Azagar Temple Courtyard where I desecrated it. What? What? Oh my god. We're gonna get a testimony? Order in the court! Order in the court, witness! Are you... Are you a say you are an accomplice to the murder? Yes, that's correct. What? Oh my god. That doesn't count as murder. Three minutes in court and I'm already covered in a cold sweat. That took... Is that a world record? I mean, you were covered in cold sweat, like, at the very, very start. Ha! Everyone has planned to accomplish something. This happens to be out of this case. It's to murder. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? Or that goat out. Just a confession they were conferring about. Pain me say this. But it looks like Iris' testimony was all a lie. Oh wow, it's gone. Crumpled and shoved into a pocket. Now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a question for you. Whose crimes are you trying to cover up by your actions? For who? Now I'm definitely up in the creek of that puddle. Or a life jacket. I've been at Hazakar Temple ever since I was a little girl. Hazakar Temple is run by the, one of the branch families of the Korean tradition. Our one mission is to protect the main family. Sorry, but main family? Yes, and that's why I would dirty myself. Need be to protect her. The daughter of the master of the Karain channeling technique. Mystic Maya Fey! Huh? Wait, what? Wait, huh? Huh? Wake up and smell the coffee, trite. She's naming... Maya? Oh, we got it. We got it. Core 2002. <laughs> order, order in the court. So not only did you commit the murder, you knew the name of the murderer. I'm terribly sorry, but it's true. I saw her commit the crime with my very own eyes, and I cleaned up the area and tried to protect her. Protection. That's ridiculous. Maya could never do such a thing. Mm -mm. The defense will refrain from comment commenting until the appropriate time. Now, witness, let's hear your testimony. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Yes, Your Honor. I thought I was prepared for the unexpected, but I never imagined the case would wind up going in this direction. It's like a fever dream. He had a fever. He didn't even have a fever, Phoenix Raj. Then he went to the inner temple that night, and I saw it all happen in the garden. I saw Mystic Elise strike from Mystic Maya with a staff. While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a failed strike. While Maya, Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend her weapon with herself and stole the weapon. It's only self-defense. You can't blame her for it. So it's in self-defense? Yes, the Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. Mm, that's why I tried my best to protect Maya. We've moved the victim's body to the temple so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You've got instincts of a true criminal. Something's not quite right. Sure, it was established yesterday. The Iris never went to the inner temple that night. That person who did go was that woman. Iris even admitted it. Now then, do we present that? Please proceed with the cross examination. Alright, let's see. Do we present that? I feel like we should just press a little bit. In the inner temple last night. Mystic Elise strike a Mystic Mile with her staff. Did we get an answer out of this one? Oh, with her staff. Saying that the victim attacked Maya. I mean, Miss Faye? 
There's two Miss Faze here, it's gonna get very good. It's a true defining scene. This is my uh, shook hard uh, head and look like it's gonna come. What were you doing at the time? Um, dying? Probably. What else would she be doing? She'd be dead. But not you. Why didn't you stop fighting? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I was, I was frightened. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I was in such shock. That's perfectly understandable, my dear. This doesn't sound right. I don't believe this testimony for a minute. What happened after that? Believed to deliver to blow a fatal strike. She moved to deliver a fatal strike? Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into a robe for a weapon. Wait a minute. What was this weapon? It was some kind of dagger. A dagger, huh? Did at least do some try to stab her with his weapon? To kill Miss Faye? Exactly. Ah. Oh my god. You look like I, I did after I mistakenly took a swig of Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce? War sauce. <laughs> okay, do you have a problem with testimony you're hearing now from your client, lawyer boy? Should we. I'm saving. This might be a crucial point. Or actually, it might not matter. But I'm picking there is one thing. There is one thing. Your Honor, I have a small problem with the witness testimony. You do? But this witness is your own client. Yes, well, nevertheless. That's fine. Well, this was at your last test statement of testimony. Yes, sir. Hey, just a moment. It's my job to say that. Listen, Gramps, I won't say it again. Final judgment will be rendered by me! Huh? No way. That's not allowed. Okay, now. Let's continue. She threw her stuff and pulled away the dagger from inside her robe. What robes? Excuse me? This is the robe. Yep, there you go. It's not- I just- I call it the robe, Mr. Iris. There's something strange about your version of events. This Deuceman throwing your staff away makes no sense at all to me. But all I can do with the staff is hit someone. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris, but... The victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, it's a sword. Ah. <laughs> Pulling that out in a real core might bat a few eyes. Or eye a few bats. <laughs> if at least Deuceman really had wanted to kill Maya Fey... She wouldn't have need to use a separate dagger, no one she already had her beautiful blade in her hands. No way. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? Uh, er, I objection. No way. That was an impressive bit of investigating fright. I never would have thought that there was a sword hidden under that sap, but even so, how should I put this? A long sword is unwieldy and does quite effective in close quarter combat. Maybe that's why she chose a dagger over her blade. Um, well. Anyway, the type of weapon say she chose to use is the one that's important. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. There's something strange about this whole testimony. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back its argument. We do? We have evidence? Another piece of evidence shows that this one can't be trusted. The police just will never take the life of Maya Faye. What will we present? Uh, what? This. Right? No? What do we do? Angle Mr. Trite's index finger. Yeah, he does point that weirdly sometimes. Eh, try sticking your finger in an electrical outlet might be safer for you. What? Otherwise, you might get bitten off the next time you poke it in the wrong place. Ah. Uh, so don't think that Miss Deucena would ever attack Maya. To think about their relationship is obvious. Why don't you think it over one more time? Oh, wait. Exact same thing. Oh wait, do we just 
this. Just to go there. No. Could be that proves that Rayleigh's dose name was Misty Maya. What? Misty Bay. Damn, 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 damn. You might get bitten off. No way. This is a weird joke. Okay. Gotta look for. I will think it over one more time. What could it be? Possibly. What are we looking for? This is, oh wait, does it say real name here? That might be it. I feel like that might be it. Sent this. Yep, there you go. At least Deusna would never have attacked my fae. How, how can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name was not at least Deusna. Real name was Misty Fay. Fay? Ah, no, no, not Mystic Fay. Who is this Misty Fay? She related to Misty Fay is the master of the Korean channeling technique. She's also the mother of Maya Fay. Are you serious? Yes. Is it really true, Mr. Wright? Was well, least Deusna actually the great Mystic Misty? There's no doubt about it. it. Looks like Iris had no idea. I can't hardly believe it. The, the idea that she tried to 